What's going on everyone? It's RJ from Backyard Sprouts and in today's video, oh man, I'm sweaty. I just got out of a workout so need some sustenance. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a very super simple Velveeta mac and cheese using our very own microgreens and that is all coming up next. All right, when I say easy, it's super easy. I'm not gonna do anything out of the ordinary, just using a good old Velveeta mac and cheese. So the ingredients are just this box. So you need, so you need some water, you need a strainer, you need their packet of cheese. We are gonna be using today some purple Vienna kohlrabi. It's got a very beautiful purple stem. Give it some kick, boil, Six cups of water. When the water is boiling, let's put this in here. Stir occasionally for eight to ten minutes. Eight to ten minutes. Alexa, set timer nine minutes. Nine minutes, starting now. Obviously it's important guys to make sure you're stirring below so that none of this uh, pasta sticks to the bottom. Alexa, how much longer on that timer? You have one minute and ten seconds left on your nine minute timer. Once you guys are done, take it, pour it in the strainer. Once that's done, go ahead and obtain your liquid gold. Put this back into the pan. Pour that liquid gold all up in that. Alexa, stop timer. So once you guys have your serving, it does say three servings, more like one serving. You can take your purple karabi or any microgreen of your choice. Doing purple karabi so it gives it some color. That's pretty much it you guys, it's <laughs> so simple. Uh, normally I do like to have some form of protein in here, uh, so normally I'll cut up some Vienna beef hot dogs and put, in, put it into the mac and cheese, that way I have a little bit of protein, but unfortunately I don't have any. But the beauty of mac and cheese is you can put whatever you want on there, right? There's a whole bunch of restaurants and a whole bunch of food trucks out there specializing in mac and cheese. and. This is an awesome way to eat something so simple, so delicious. You don't need to be a five-star Michelin star restaurant. Or is it three? Like the highest is three Michelin stars, right? <laughs> Point is, you don't need to be a world-class chef to use microgreens. Believe it or not, you know, I don't think I should, but I, I do a lot of simple sandwiches with them. So at the farmer's market, we'll go ahead and get some bread from uh, a local place called Local Loaf and they supply me with the bread and I get some of the cheese from Orman's Cheese, all local in the farmers market and then um, I do just use normal deli meat of my choice and then I just top it with a healthy serving of microgreens in place of like lettuce because you guys remember we're trying to inform people and tell people that microgreens are more than just a garnish for salads or restaurants to make things look beautiful and poppy. Remember, microgreens are very, very nutritious. People forget at the very core of it, they are superfoods, four to 40 times more nutritious backed by WebMD. Science. So instead of putting something like lettuce on a sandwich or lettuce on a burger, people are pretty much using lettuce as, for, as that crunch factor. They're not doing it for the nutritional value because lettuce is pretty much just water. There's hardly any nutritional value there. So instead of using something like lettuce, start putting in microgreens as condiment replacers and just 
get more nutrition in yourself. This, this mac and cheese is awesome because not only does it give your uh, mac and cheese some color and some pop, but it adds nutrition to it. I mean, it's mac and cheese and microgreens. The bad part of the mac and cheese is counteracted by the good parts of the microgreens. That's probably not how that works, but you get what I'm getting at, right? You can add it onto anything. The, the sky is the limit for what you can do with microgreens. So we'll, we'll continue to produce more videos about different ingredients. I think Alex is actually going to do the next one, and she likes to juice, juice? No, smoothie. She likes to put her peas and other microgreens into a smoothie and she says it, may, it works. I'm not much of a smoothie person. I, I personally prefer physical food. We always get into this headbutting topic because she's like, I'm like, hey, what's for dinner? And she's like, smoothies. And I'm like, that's not food, that's a beverage. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm gonna spark up some conversation on the YouTube world, but I need physical food, or I need, I need something I can chew and not just drink. So uh, yeah, we're super excited. Alex will release that uh, video coming up soon. And then we'll just continue to pump out ideas and videos for you guys to use microgreens. If I had to do a sandwich looking one, I will go ahead and do a sandwich. It is literally what I've been using it for primarily. So sandwiches and salads. Uh, we've had close friends use them for tacos. So yeah, super excited. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It's just mac and cheese. You can use Kraft. Kraft. <laughs> you could use Velveeta. And you don't have to go as plain Jane and simple as mine. You can actually go ahead and be super creative with your mac and cheese and use some microgreens in there, put some extra cheese, go ahead and add some protein, and you can make it whatever you want. So again, hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. As always, Alex and I are trying to build a community of like minds, so we would absolutely love it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button so you guys get the latest on our urban farming adventure, and we will see you guys next time.